first, though, we're right there with police as they crack down on violent crime. It's a story you'll see only on News 6, what officers are doing out on the streets about the recent gun violence. Good evening, I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Last week, we asked our local leaders, with all of the recent shootings, how are they getting crime results? Some of you were not happy with their answers. So tonight, we're asking police the same question. News 6 reporter Eric Von Anken is here with those answers for us, Eric. Many viewers said the solutions that they heard, guys, from our commissioners, what well, more education, more jobs, and more hope, are doing nothing to stop the violence today or tomorrow. So I asked Orlando police, what are they doing about gun violence today? Right now, they showed me their TAC unit. Our job is to go out there and find violent criminals and, and to stop the, these violent crimes before they happen. This is the TAC Bay at Orlando Police Headquarters. Most of these pictures that you see up here, these are from a traffic infraction that turns into a search of somebody's vehicle and this is what we discover. Lieutenant Chad Ocusio is in charge of TAC. This is where his team starts the day. All the desks are empty. All the desks are empty because everybody's out working, which is a good thing. This is where they finish their day on into the night in the car. I mean, it could be because of that. And in the cars, they stop. Trying to cover up that smell somehow. <clears throat> Driving around looking to see <clears throat> who's out riding around, what's going on, and we're here to find out why some of these people are out. TAC stands for Tactical Anti-Crime. They are the front line of defense, Lieutenant Ocusio says, in Orlando's toughest neighborhoods. Today, we're on Ivy Lane looking for crime. Our unit is the covert, kind of behind the scenes. We don't want to be seen until it's time to be seen. There you go. Lieutenant Ocusio says most of what they do every day is traffic stops, which lead to searches which lead to guns. I believe it was a four time convicted felon actually had those rifles sitting in the back seat of his car. But when there's a spike in violent crime, like in the last few weeks, TAC targets the problem area. When the chief says, these are your orders, stop the shootings, what do you do? We kind of continue with what we're doing. We just ramp things up. We, you know, try to spend more time out on the street, focused in those areas where people are traveling to and from. Lieutenant Ocusio says tax traffic stops. Yeah, that's probably what he's all nervous about. Interrupt the flow of drugs, guns, and criminals. The lieutenant says that most of the crimes are committed by a few people, and many of those people are known to police. So when there is a violent trend, one of the things they do is look for those offenders to pick them up, guys, again, yeah. oftentimes. Which totally makes sense. And yeah. there's, there's nothing more important to all of us than protecting our families and knowing where this crime is happening. We at News 6 have made that easier for people to figure out, right? We made an interactive map. Check this thing out here. We took all of the shootings that we reported on since the beginning of the year for Orlando and Orange County and pinpointed them. And look, you can zoom in, click on them mm. and read about them. We put this on clickorlando.com for you under the getting results on crime tab. Great feature, Eric. Thank you.